everyone, welcome back to Let's Play for Frog the Bell Tolls. In the last part, uh, we started off the game and now we're here in front of Ella Mode. So let's go on in and see what happens, shall we? Oh, great crowds. Only a Crocian could have extended the bridge. It's him! Hide! And we finally get to see some frogs two parts in. You can, oddly enough, well actually no, not oddly enough, it's very, very realistic of it. Uh, there is nothing they, they can say. But to progress, we need to head into the shop here. W welcome. Oh, excuse me. Ruffian. Huh? Oh no, my money's gone. Sounds like me during a steam sale. No doubt you realize the shopkeep looks like Mario. Halt! Return my money at once! Oh, great. Darkness of doom and destruction. I, I can't see. Give me a light. He walked right into our trap. Crocian scum. Get him. Ah, people. No. Nope. Dang. This. Ah. Wait. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Ouch. Outnumbered. No fair. I wonder if that's the game over music, because I've actually never gotten the game over here. Ah, you're awake, Prince Kyle. Cowards, how dare they attack me in the dark? What do they want? They didn't know you were a prince. Jam told them all that you were a... Uh... Grokin. Why'd that take me a second to read? <laughs> that vagrant? I'll punish him. Jam disappeared with the money. He fled east to Mount Bavarian. Mount Bavarian. A trail just south of here leads there. But the monsters prowl the mountainside, and they say that legendary of which Mandola lives at the summit. Mandola? Who's she? According to legend, she appears only when the kingdom is in peril. Rumor has it she knows how to defeat Delarin. Really? Then I must meet her. Wait, Prince Richard left for Bavaria and he hasn't returned. That sells it. I'm going. <laughs> you can talk to the people in town, which I actually do off screen and go there. Which I do go off screen and do, but you learn nothing from them aside from this guy right here, who just is guarding the Crokians. And now we have the first uh, real opportunity of where I actually have to grind for money from the enemies. I don't believe there's anything in this ladder here. In fact, I think I checked just in case. Because this is only my third playthrough. I don't know this game nearly as well as some of the other ones. And yeah, as he said, some enemies do drop coins when you defeat them. I need approximately... I'm going for 220 coins, but I need like 160 if I want a bare minimum. And they can also draw parts which will restore your health. So let's cut to when I finish the grinding. And yes, the currency in this game is called nuts for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> But anyway, 220 nuts. Let's head on up to uh, the shop. Actually, I just realized they call, they call them nuts in game, but they're called coins here. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, if you talk to this frog, it'll follow you around for some reason. We, I know why, but uh, you don't. Welcome. How may I help you? Anyway, we're here to buy a shield, which will increase our defense. Ah, my ears. That's 120. Or no, that was a hundred. And then we're gonna max out our saws. Now saw. Now this gets into the first tool mechanic. Th you have a certain amount of tools that you can buy. That will always be in your inventory. Once you have them, well, you have a limited number of them, as I just said. <laughs> and once you use one, th that one's gone forever. Although you can buy more at any given shop. However, you have to keep in mind that they do cost a certain amount of coins to do so. <laughs> And how do you select them? Well, uh, let's see if I can remember this offhand. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Oh, that's right. Uh, you press start. Scroll over to him. Press A. It'll be right. With, uh, you'll know that you have it equipped when right where the sword is in the bottom right corner. The, the tool that you're using is there instead. And like talking, their usual function is done by just walking into things. Like we can get a certain upgrade by using our first saw. Right here. Walk into the tree. And it's gone. And we also used up our first saw doing that. And this means being an idiot and forgetting how to unequip them. All you have to do is press B, I believe. And down here we got a lifestone, so now we have five hearts. 
And you can also uh, equip... I, f I forget about this until later, but... Uh, first off, Spike Beetles, watch out for these guys. These guys can hurt. But, uh, bibde. You can also have the tools equipped in battle. In fact, uh, certain enemies have weaknesses to certain weapons, like uh, a certain enemy we'll be first seeing later on this part, the Treant. In fact, uh, there he is right there to the right, that black tree. Can only be defeated with saws at this point in the game. And we got a Wonder Ball here. Keep in mind what the hell happened to the audio. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say, shit. <laughs> Wonder Ball. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I don't remember. Wonder Ball. Wasn't that the name of a chocolate candy that ha existed back in the year, like 2000s, late 90s? That had, like, some sort of weird candy inside of them? I don't know. It's been years since I had one. I don't even think they're around. Anyway, our last upgrade for right now is down here, and I believe this is a speed stone. Come on, me. Is it a speed stone? Yes, it is. This spe what speed does, as this guy's explaining, is that it increases the number of attacks we can do in a turn. Pretty much, as you see now, we're attacking twice. The more, the higher your speed is, the more attacks you'll do in once, and you'll do more overall damage. Attack, power, of uh, ah, power, and attack and speed will pretty much make it, uh, battles a lot easier on you. Although. Defense will as well, but not as much, because uh, certain enemies just have set damage. And oddly enough, these treants here are not as powerful as the one in front. But this also is where I first show off the fact that you actually can run from battles. When it's your turn, aka when the arrow's on the foe, press B and run. That's also how you can use a it healing item should you need one. And we are here in Mount Bavaria now, actually. That didn't take long at all. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, wait, Lost? Oh, no. Oh, great, it's Lost Woods all over again. You know, I'm not lying, the, the, I have this F. If you, I had, I had taken actually a quick pause break to write down those arrows, but you have to follow, those arrows are always the same. You have to follow that pattern to get through this, these, yeah, this force rather quickly. <laughs> if you're familiar with the Lost Woods that, have, that originated in Zelda 1 and have been in many since, it's pretty much the same concept. Except a lot more tolerable. I'm finally out of the forest. You know, I think I've seen that trick somewhere before. Uh, they even reference Zelda. This fruit looks yummy. Let's try it. We got a dry fruit. Mmm. Tasty. Oh god, I'm totally tripping out, man. Why am I so dizzy? And I can't feel my tongue. Hey, this is... Nice. <laughs> uh, we are really tripping out now. Mm, where am I? Did I? Oh yeah, I ate a f that fruit and... Oh god, anime guy! <laughs> Why are you loafing about? I've seen that silhouette before. Gah! R Richard! While you were stumbling around, I easily rescued the princess. I always knew you were a blockhead. Anyway, now Tiramisu is mine. <laughs> what? This can't be happening. It's all just a bad dream. I'm not even gonna attempt to read that because I don't want to rape your ears. What's that cry? Vulture! And now we have a boss fight against the Vulture. This is, as far as I know, unless you're very low in health, unwinnable. Or, no, up. Not unwinnable, the exact opposite. You're always going to win. However, you're always going to be really hurting after it, so watch out for that. How dare you run away? Get back here, coward! And now I just have to follow this guy. Literally three feet to the right, and we find a uh, dungeon, apparently. Could this house be Mandolas? I would guess so. <laughs> I am the Great Witch Mandola. Who dares enter my home uninvited? You're like a fright, youngin. You're a Mandola. You should keep your pet under control. That thing's dangerous. You brat, teasing my sweet Polnareff like that. 
What business do you have here? Did you come to ask how to defeat Delarin too? Hmm? Richard was here. Now, that is a secret. Oh, yes. How would you like my fruit? So that was your tree, after all. It's our joy fruit. They're poisonous apples. You don't. That fruit gives you stress for leaving dreams. Why, you could start a new religion with it, even. <laughs> it only gave me a nightmare. Where's Richard? Insistent fool. He and I hit it off. I bring him a special potion. A potion? And Richard has one. If you drink this, nothing will scare you. It's usually very expensive, but I'm having a sale today. This one's on the house. I have no reason to be suspicious. Let's drink it. It's got a smooth taste. I, I feel invigorated. And sparkliness around us. Now you look like a true prince. Beating Delrin would be easy. Really? Aren't you a brave boy, Prince Kyle? Now get going, the battle awaits. Right, I'm off. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> My voice is probably too deep to even do a girl's voice in any way. <laughs> the thief jam? Uh oh. Give me back my money. Forget it, pal. Catch me if you can. Wait. And then we fall into water. Ah, no, I'm I'm drowning. Mother, father, I'm sorry. I wasn't a better son. And then he died. Wait, what? Hmm. I can breathe! Frog! I, I'm a frog! I'm a frog! So now we can do our best Chrono Trigger impersonation. This is my money? Jam must have lost it, but what good is money to frogs? And we've gotten back our money. All what looks to be one billion? I can't, I can't even really tell. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, no, that's one million. Now, as a frog, we have much higher jump than any other kind than we were, did as a human, so we can jump up here really easily. And we also get a mandatory life stone. And again, I think a majority of the upgrades in this game are kind of required. This game really expl uh, uh, encourages exploration, which I like. Anyway, now we have a bucket. Jump into it and press up to, well, head up. Huh? Seems the wells are connected. Prince Kyle, you're a frog too. Look, frog, we've never met before. Wait a minute, your voice... Yes, it is I, Richard. <laughs> I take it my uncouth appearance amuses you. I'm the same fix, too. Hey, didn't you come here for an army? Unless they've become frogs as well. I thought this was my punishment for leaving you. I tried to warn you, but humans can't understand frog speech. Oh, Richard. Were you really worried about me? How dare that mandola? Wah! Don't get upset. As a frog, you can jump high in the You should even be able to... swim with ease. What's more, the Krokians like frogs. You think this form will help us? We've got no choice either way. My men are infiltrating the palace as we speak. Let's go. Alrighty then. So let's head on over to, ca to the castle. Again. And at least we always get awesome music, because I've got to say, I love this overworld theme. I just hope I can remember to put it in the description in the first place, because at this point, Metal Gear Solid hasn't even started on the channel. Good God. Then again, I'm still on that hiatus that I was supposed to be on. Let's see who can find the princess first. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. I probably got those characters reversed, but with that, I'm going to need to end things off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on Let's Play for Frog the Bell Tolls. We're going to go through the palace once again and see what else we can explore now that we're a frog. See you guys then.